Same at the Coliseum. I'm glad it's going to start cooling down. Yes, exactly. So exactly. Hopefully it'll be nice. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So it is going to get a little cooler. That's okay. the good news. And so excited about the games yes. being at the Coliseum. Yeah, you know, because exactly. for me, it holds a special place in my heart. That's right. Right on. I was going to say, <laughs> the Trojans. <laughs> Just saying. But it's great. It's cool. You know, it's like you, you got an NFL game on a mm -hmm. Saturday, then you got a, you know, USC football game on a Sunday. Anyways, well, let's uh, actually... We'll get there in a second. But <laughs> I digress. All right, I'm just getting a little excited, getting a little excited about football season all around. Get a look outside right now. Take a look up there in the corner. It almost looks like the sun because it's so bright, but that is the full moon. Take a look right there. It is officially full tonight, and it's very clear, so we can see it pretty well. We could see a little bit of that marine layer make a comeback, though, as we head into the overnight hours. I do want to get a look at fire conditions, and you will see 80 degrees. That's right now near the fire. So things still quite warm. We do have red flag warnings lasting through tomorrow night and a little bit of a breeze coming in as well. Temperatures still quite warm for us this evening and we will continue to see pretty warm temperatures, even though gradually we're getting slightly cooler. I do want to mention elevated fire dangers in our forecast at least through Saturday, even though the red flag warnings expire tomorrow. Let's get a quick look at that seven day microclimate forecast right here and you will see temperatures in the 70s, 80s, 90s and staying pretty consistent for the next seven days. Jeff and Susie.